Let's talk about how to use Excel and TI-8384 to solve normal distribution problems. In Excel, we have the function normal.s distribution and normal no s dot distribution. One is for standard normal distribution, another for the regular normal distribution. Since those two functions in Excel is to compute the left side area to the variable, so for the second case, more than we need one minus the whole area minus the left side area equals the right side to the variable. And for the between case and x2, the, the left area to the x2 minus the left side area to the x1. Then we get to the middle part. For the calculator, the difference between standard or not standard, for the standard normal distribution, we use mean is 0, standard deviation is 1. And if for the regular, we just input the mean and the standard deviation. And for the Excel, we always choose choose. And for the calculator, we ignore this PDF, always CDF. Okay. Now let's do some examples. So here we already get all the answers from the Excel functions. Now let's verify by the calculator. Second distribution, CARS, and choose two, CDF, because for the first one, Z less than 0.84. We know upper bound should be 0.84. Lower bound, you just choose a very small number. So all the way to the left side, suppose we choose negative 1,000. And up is 0.84. And mu is 0, sigma is 1. Enter, 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 enter. So we get the answer. Now for the second one, so second, VARS, 2, and Z greater than. So for the calculator, we don't need to do one minus. We could directly just lower bound, upper bound, because greater than 2.28. So lower bound is 2.28. Upper bound, we choose a really big number. Suppose 1,000, then mu is 0, sigma is 1. So enter, 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 enter. And we get the answer. The third case between, and the lower bound is negative 0.47. Upper bound is 1.23, and enter. OK, that's the answer. Now let's go to the another example for this question. So the mean score is 99. So mu is 99, and uh, sigma is 17. And what's the probability for the score is less than 57? So we go to the CDF. The lower, we also choose a very small number, negative 1,000. Here we choose 57. This question is not for the standard normal distribution. So the given mu mean is 99, and the standard deviation sigma is 17. Now enter. So we get the answer. So now for the second one, x greater than 86. So the lower bound is 86. Upper bound, we just choose a big number, 1,000. And another one, the between. So second, BARS and CDF. So between is the simplest. You just lower bound and upper bound. 86 and okay, we verified those questions. We get the same answer after rounding up. Now we go to uh, four more examples. So this question shaded area is 0 0.5. So we get the to this variable, the left area is 0 0.5. We, we need to get the z-score. So the inverse for the Excel is norm.s inverse. We put the area 0 
we get the answer zero because half half the total area is one so half that's this is mean the mu is zero so we go to the calculator second ARS and choose three inverse norm and the area is 0 0.5 mu is zero sigma is one so enter we get a zero for the second question shaded area watch carefully here is a shaded area to this this variable the right side is 0 0.99 because for the excel the function is only for the left side area so we want to get this this score we need a one minus this right side area and then we could get this score the calculator second VARS to three and the area should be one minus zero point nine nine and the mu zero sigma is one so enter and we get the same answer for this question the shaded area the middle you see this is symmetric right in the middle is zero point two eight so we know the left side and the right side is 1 minus 0 0.28 the middle part divided by 2 so 0 0.36 here 0 0.36 is here and for the negative this score because it's symmetric middle is 0 here is negative this score here is positive this score for the negative so in norm as inverse we just put the right side of the area 0 0.36 we get this number and the positive you could directly just this negative this become positive or you could norm as inverse is 1 minus 0 0.36 so that means this 0 0.36 this left side area plus this middle part to this positive this score so the left side is this area plus this area or is total one minus this right side 0 0.36 so it's 0 0.64 if you put norm dot s dot inverse 0 0.64 you would get the same answer positive this this score now let's use the calculator second vars and the three area is one minus this right side area so 0 0.36 now enter 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 you get the same answer so for the last question given the shaded area this is the probability between these two variables and given this z is 0 0.58 left area to the 0 0.58 is norm dot s distribution then we get the left side area to this 0 0.58 then this area minus the shaded we get this area to this this score now then we go norm s dot inverse we get the z score now let's use the calculator to compute the z score second VARS the two CDF let's get the area to the left side of the given 0 0.58 this score so this left side choose the lower bound is very small number upper bound is 0 0.58 enter okay we get this same answer is now second VARS choose three then the area we just use this answer 0.158643 now enter 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 get the answer i hope this video helps